That's literally all the damage right there. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I saw that title, didn't you? That's right. I kind of bought a Hellcat, but I got scammed. Stay tuned. So, I didn't upload last week or the week before that. The reason for that was this said scenario. So, a little bit of a story time. I am part of a bunch of Mopar groups, salvage groups, and all kinds of different car groups on Facebook. There was a Hellcat that was being sold. Now, I know, I know, I know, I can hear all of you typing away. There's scams all over the internet. Yes, I am aware of that, thank you very much. I contacted a guy that runs a salvage uh, project and he buys these vehicles, repairs them, restores them, and then sells them. He had a 16 Hellcat Charger, a black one. Kind of like the one I just got rid of. So I reached out and I just wanted to get some information on it, kind of see how it worked. He offered financing and a couple other options. And we talked a little bit about how his program works and just the different stuff that he does. And so I sent him my number. I said, hey, let's talk. Ben gives me a call and we go over just the different stuff on the vehicle, kind of get to know the guy. He's just a normal Southern guy, lives out in Missouri. Uh, you know, he's got some kids, got his wife, and he just flips these cars on the side. Um, tells me a couple stories about a guy that bought a GMC from him and I will set I'll put pictures of everything up as I'm going along all of this seems really sketchy right you know this guy is super cool super nice just way down to earth and he's a normal guy it's not like you know nothing seemed wrong or weird about it at all so we got to talking and my background is marketing and I do digital design and some other stuff like that, logo design, things like that. We get to talking and he wants to make a deal with me to have me do some marketing for him, to have me do some branding for him and to have him as a sponsor on the channel. In exchange for these services, because marketing is expensive and my services that I would be providing all have a determined value. In exchange for these services, he wants to make a deal on the car. The deal was that I would pay the delivery fee and he would bring the vehicle out to me in Arizona from Missouri. We get off the phone and I'm hyped but kind of you know, on the low, like, I am more skeptical than anything. You know, this is kind of a crazy thing. Yeah, he's not asking a lot. It's, a, you know, a salvage title, 16 Hellcat. I think he wanted around 28 or 30,000 for it, um, which my services would be adequated to a year if I do the deal. So, we get off the phone and I do my research. And I, like I said, as I go along here, I'll put up everything that I dug up. Uh, so I go back through uh, Facebook and I'm looking at everything on this vehicle. I pull the VIN for the vehicle, do a background check on it, checks out for what he said. Um, I find posts all the way back to 2019 um, and I also find the post for the Duramax that he said that he sold. It all seems legit again, you know, the stories all tie in together, back and back and back and back. Now I have pictures that he sent me privately 
and I have videos that he sent, uh, which I've, you know, you guys saw the clip in the beginning, and uh, he also sent me this one. video I say okay awesome because I had asked him for a startup and um, you know it was all good and so a couple days go by and he wants me to send him the delivery fee through cash app uh, or Apple pay and um, my thing is, is with cash app I've had friends that have been ripped off very badly in cash app because of cash app um, I had a friend that lost like $3,500 because someone hacked into his account and Cash App wouldn't give it back to him. So, don't use Cash App. But I told him a few different times, I was like, hey, you know, I'd rather have cash upon delivery. Um, I would rather, you know, give you the cash when you're here, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, okay but you know, I'd rather not use my own gas since we are making a deal to have you basically just work in exchange for the vehicle. I'd rather not use my own money to try to deliver the vehicle out there. It came to a point where if the deal's real, you know, let's go ahead and let's risk it, right? Let's, let's give it a shot, because if it works out, then it works out. So I sent him the money for the delivery fee and Everything was all good. I got a receipt. Like I said, I'll put everything up as we're talking. And he still kept in contact with me. Still was talking to me about his kids. Um, talking to me about, you know, getting everybody packed up and ready to go. Talked to me about his fiance, all that stuff. So again, none of this struck me as uh, anything bad at all. Now we're a day in. And I try to contact him throughout the day and I notice that it takes him a little longer to get back to me. No big deal. People have big uh, people have lives and people are busy, right? So I wait and he gets back to me and then all of a sudden on Facebook I get a notification about an ad that was reposted. And it was for the same Hellcat that I'm looking at. I messaged him about this and I said, "Didn't we just make a deal on this?" And he said to me, don't trip. The admins just didn't approve it right away. 
and not to worry about it. So I took it at face value and I said, all right, so throughout the day, because he's right, some groups don't approve things right away. <clears throat> and I don't know the group that well to be able to say yes or no, but. So I said, okay. And throughout the next couple days, I kept checking uh, Facebook. I would type in the name and I would go and see what posts he had put up. I would see if they had made any more comments on the new post, and none. There were no new comments other than the ones that were initially there. So, now we are four days into this. All together. And so, now I am, you know, trying to get an update. He said this day that they had stopped off at a hotel and for now they were resting and letting the kids play in the pool which i have kids you know i'm fine that's awesome you know they're gonna have fun go for it if i can if i can help supply that then yes why not uh i mean it is a 20 hour drive 21 hours so okay whatever and so um i just kind of let that go and i was like all right i'll be patient the next day rolls around now we're on day number five and I say, okay, so are you guys planning on being here today or tomorrow? Just trying to make some plans and make sure that I know the schedule. No response. Not just for a couple hours, but for the whole day. No response. I text him a couple times throughout the day. Still nothing. Now, the next day, I text him again. Still nothing. You know, I, I kept my texting comments, anything like that, very cordial and very professional. Uh, I did send him a couple, you know, just saying, hey, check it in. You know, it's a long trip, making sure that you guys are okay. Um, just stuff like that. Not trying to be overbearing or bothersome or anything like that. And never got a response back. I then go, and because I don't want to ruin the deal if it is actually a deal and something just happened, right? I don't want to jump to a conclusion. I reach out to the admin of the group where the post was. And I, and I'll put that up as well. And I asked him, I said, hey, would you mind, you know, kind of looking into this in a way that is not going to be intrusive or in a way that it's not going to make him feel untrustworthy I just want to make sure he's real you know yada 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 the admin was very nice and he said yeah I'll look into it I sent him screenshots and just other things about what we had done and um, he just he went ahead and looked into it for me and did whatever he could on his part to let me know any information that he found upon him looking into it um, even he said that the guy is legit. It seems like he has a life. He's got, you know, almost 2,000 followers. Uh, he's been on Facebook for a long time. Uh, I think it was over six years. And yeah, everything matched, everything. So uh, we kind of left it at that. And he just said to keep him updated and let him know what was going on if anything indeed came out of it. Now we are on day seven and still no response and I said hey are you planning on being here today just directly didn't really open up with anything else I just said are you guys going to be here today or not still no response uh, so I waited until about half the day went by I sent another message I said hey just want to know what the plan is what are we doing and didn't get anything back so that evening, uh, I talked to my wife about it and even she was like, you know, something might have happened, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And, uh, she's like, I do agree, it's really weird because he could have had more contact. He could have tied, tried to do something more. He could have just sent me, hey, driving or, you know, something little, right? Just some type of uh, assurance that he is doing what he said he was going to do. So that evening, I send him a message and I say, uh, and I don't know all of it, but I'll put a screenshot of it up. But basically I said, I am going to assume after today that this deal is not happening. 
I have been nothing but nice and respectful, haven't been pushy or anything like that. And I basically just told him that, uh, you know, I would pursue getting my money back and reporting him as I saw fit had I not gotten a response. He had not read my other messages. This one he read. And he read it about three minutes after I sent it. Now I did not get a response back for this one either. So that following day, I made a post. I took screenshots of the guy, I took screenshots of my payment, I took and made a short little post about what had happened. I had already talked to the admin of this group, so I was not interested in putting anything and everything on blast so that it would turn into this, you know, shit fest of people trying to talk and just, you know how Facebook is. You know, there's always keyboard warriors that think they know everything and anything. You guys don't. So I put up the post and I left it open. Initially, I got a couple comments that were stupid already, so I turned off comments, because at this point, I was so fed up and stressed out about it, I just didn't want to hear about it anymore. And so I talked to the admin, I let the admin know what was going on, he apologized so many times, and I told him, I was like, it has nothing to do with you. And uh, But the guy was so nice, he kept apologizing for what had happened. He did ban him, and he also followed up on the post live. Um, on my post on the group live to kind of back me up and sure as shit there were five other people five that he got fees from to deliver the vehicle one of the guys even sent two thousand dollars now i didn't send that much but did send him money. So, coming around full circle, I have been off because I've been dealing with some legal stuff, trying to get that money back. And I have also been, was also dealing with and putting off a video because I was going to do a delivery video, uh, hey, look what I got, guys, and it's this crazy, crazy fall in my lap you know, deal. And yeah, I can hear of, I can hear all the haters. If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. You're stupid. Yada, 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 yada. Listen, if you get an opportunity like that dropped in your lap and it is as convincing as the one that I just dealt with, why am I an idiot to see or to hope that it might be real? Right? If you, there, without risk, there is no reward. And so... Anyways, so that is where I've been. That is what I've been dealing with. Um, I, again, put off recording because I wanted to make sure that I could do this video if, indeed, it came through. There is some more awesome content coming. I really greatly appreciate all my support that I've gotten. It's been very overwhelming seeing all of my videos just get views. And don't forget, I do have merch live now and uh, you can go and order them. Link is down below. Like and subscribe, and uh, thank you guys again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys again on the next one.